like the smell or not, this is this is how it all starts here. If you don't have good compost, you won't have any mushrooms. So, and you can you can see right here in the temperature, your optimum. You want to go between 160 and 180. That's why you want how you want to grow your compost. Um, right now we're at 174 on all of them. So that means we're doing something right on this compost. Yeah. Right now that. What they're going to do is they're going to fill this, this room, this compost room, from the other side. But once you fill it, that's what we call phase one. When you fill it, it's phase two. And at phase two, what we do is we pasteurize it. Uh, we call it peak heat. And what you're doing there is, even though you already have the compost ready, you want to continue the process and get out all the bad bacteria you don't want and allow the good bacteria that you want for the for the mushroom now this is a rice seed but this rice seed has been sterilized and it has been inoculated with mushroom spores it's the way to transport the spore because spores are flying all over the place mm -hmm. all the time so you can't just grab it and say oh we're gonna grow this so that you have to find a way to inoculate it with the, the, the spore that you want to grow and once you put it in there, it just keeps growing. What Roberto does is he puts this plastic over the top to kind of seal it. And as the mushroom grows, it produces, it respirates CO2. It builds up a high CO2 level. And so the mushroom then is looking for more air. So it quickly expands through the entire mass of, of all of the compost looking for more air until it's thoroughly grown through. And another thing that we have to uh, keep in mind is right now temperatures are quiet. So what we call quiet temperatures. But once it's in the seventh, eighth day, when the mycelium is really growing, temperatures will start heating up, and it's just like a fever. If you don't control it, you can you, you'll die. So we have to control the temperatures on the on the beds. By day seven to eight, we're using two air conditioners, trying to bring the temperatures down. Mm -hmm. You don't want to bring it down too too much because then it will it will slow down the process. But at the same time, you don't want to let it get too high because it will kill itself. The casing is, is made of material that holds the most moisture you can get into it so that you can apply moisture to grow the mushrooms because they're 90% water. So, so it's many, there's many aspects of the casing. This is uh, day eight or day nine of uh, flushing. It takes 11 days for the flushing to, com to be completed. And uh, when, once you're completed, then you start the harvesting process. So. But what's interesting is that mushrooms, once they're at this size, uh, they start growing about twice their size uh, uh, 24, every 24 hours. Yeah, three big rooms, 6,300, 6,300 square feet. The other rooms are 4,800. In this room today alone, we're going to pick 12,000 pounds one day. You can see how he's sorting out the mushrooms. And, and a good picker will take um, four to five mushrooms at a time. You can see with the Blasii, they're different in that they don't pin solid across. There's not pins everywhere that'll yeah. be the next break. These simply grow up wherever they want to grow up. You know what's really cool about these is that the, um, you can see they, they turn a bright yellow when you scratch the and stem. What you're looking at, this is the beta-glucans, active oh. chemistry of the mushrooms that are very healthy mm -hmm. and boost your immune system.